They say that when you're in your 20s, you're planting seeds for you to reap the benefits of when you're in your 30s. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you a no BS, no nonsense guide on how to be financially stable in your 20s. I just turned 29, so I'm pretty qualified to tell you about what I'm gonna tell you in this video. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you have to do is look yourself directly in the mirror and understand exactly where you're at. And I'm not literally talking about a mirror. I'm talking about literally just taking a good look at yourself, your financial situation, and where you wanna be and determine exactly where you are. And here's why. When you know where you're at, you can then build yourself a path of where you're going. And it would be very similar to you walking up a flight of stairs. First, you have to know where you're at if you're gonna to get to the top properly. So for example, if the staircase has 12 steps and you're at the bottom, you can't go from the bottom to the top of the stairs in one step. That's just not gonna happen. Even if you took two steps, it probably wouldn't happen. You'd fail miserably, fall, and probably break something on the way down. That's about useless, we ain't going for that. Same thing with finances. Once you're clear and honest with yourself in terms of where you're at, that's how you're gonna to get to the next step. Here's how you look at exactly where you're at. You look at this concept that I created called the gains principle. These types of gains. And if you're watching this video, particularly wanting to become financially stable in your 20s, you fall into one of two categories, either G, which is getting started, or A, which is adulting. And this so happens to be the age group that I specialize in with my one-on-one -on -one consultations, ages between 20 and 30. And I'll put this on the screen, but if you fall in the getting started category, your goals, values, and skills needed are going to be as follows. You're going to be looking at things like saving your first $5,000, moving out of your parents' house, finding a full-time job, and getting your life set up. You're going to value things like independent self-improvement and making more money. And the skills you're going to need to pull this off and to actually reach the goals that you have within this level is to have that discipline, patience, research, and an action plan to succeed, which we'll talk about here later. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for the whole video on this one. If you fall into the adulting category, your goal is to get your life together, become financially stable, pay down debt, save money, build an emergency fund, and contribute to your retirement account regularly. You're gonna value stability, security, comfort, and relief. I know I hit a nerve with one of those. And the skills you're gonna need is planning, control, and responsibility. Now, one of those are you, and I want you to comment down below which one you are. Are you getting started or are you adulting? Because once you know where you are and you're crystal clear on where you are, you can start to make goals that are specific to your current situation that are attainable, and you can move past the first couple of steps on that staircase we were talking about. For example, you're not trying to go from living to your mom's house to being a millionaire. That's typically not how it works around here. But can you go from living at your mom's house to saving your first 5,000 to getting the full-time job to then get your own place and then invest? And then, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's steps to this thing. You have to go one step at a time. But while you're on your way up, what if I told you that there's some things that you're doing right now where you're getting in your own way. Let me show you this video real quick to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But well, you've been with Ryan. You've been with him, been drinking, been out with him partying. Oh, who been out with him partying? Not recently, oh, okay. but, but you after, have. After his last fight. After his last have. fight. You have. After his last fight. Do you fight. have the skills to do that? After his last fight. Do you have the skills to be out partying and missing? You don't have the skills to be doing it. So if y'all know who those two were, they're boxers. That's Tank Davis and that's Frank Martin. And if y'all don't know what happened in the fight, Tank Davis knocked Frank Martin out. And in the video, Tank Davis, the light-skinned guy, he was kind of getting on him saying, do you have the skills to be out here partying and acting up when you should be about training for me? And just for the record, this is no diss to either one of the fighters. They're both great fighters. But this is an analogy for life. And what's gonna happen inevitably is life is going to hit you very hard and knock you bowed out if you're not prepared for life itself. So you hear your 20s is when you're supposed to have fun and make your mistakes, this, that, and the third. No, your 20s are for when you're supposed to be building a life for yourself, seed by seed, step by step. I'm not saying you should never have fun, but there is a grinding phase where you have to just kind of grind your way through until you make it to where you wanna to get to. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm not promoting hustle culture. I'm not promoting even working 80 hours a week. I used to do it and it sucked and I was not in a good place. But I will say that if you have a goal to reach and you're relentless about it, 
and you're serious about it. Sometimes that requires focus and concentration and years of that same focus and concentration. And I'll be honest, sometimes we just don't do enough. And because we're not doing enough, we're not getting the results we want as quickly as we want or as quickly as we feel we deserve. And this right here is an example of life knocking you off your feet. You move too fast, you move out of your parents' house. Now you got bills and a full-time job, but sometimes you don't feel like going to work, so you miss work. Then an unexpected expense pops up before your rent pops up and then boom when your rent comes you don't have enough money to pay for it now you're in a vicious cycle because now you're literally living paycheck to paycheck so that makes it harder the thing about life is it's very tiring when you're losing so when you're behind on rent and when you're having to work extra just to keep up with your bills you're more fatigued mentally and because you're mentally fatigued you feel more physically fatigued that makes the grind that much harder and so then that puts you in a perpetual state of needing a break needing the relief needing a drink you get what i'm saying that's why i put all these things in that in those powerpoint slides that i showed you because i'm telling you what these age groups and what these people value and what they want and what their real life goals are. But sometimes those can be to their detriment. And I teach a whole free course on this. You can watch it after this. It's called How to Be Financially Stable and Beyond. It's a free course. It's on this channel, 100% free. You don't have to click no links or nothing like that. It's actually in the same playlist that all my financially stable videos are on. But it ends up being to your detriment because now you're drinking, you're partying and like tank davis said in the video and i love it when he said it, it was like do you have the skills to be doing that if you're in a situation that's less than desirable you know you have something big coming up whether it's bills or you have a big interview coming up or you just want more you want more money you want more substance out of life you want to provide more for your family for yourself whatever the case is you gotta grind for that doing what everybody else does does not get you extraordinary results. And in today's time, I hate to say it, and I'm not being mean, but being financially stable in your 20s has become an extraordinary result. And it's mostly because the economy is jack bowed up and everything is so expensive. But on the other side of that coin, it's you not having the skills that I put in my PowerPoint slides within whichever category you're in to reach your goals that you wanna to get to and to improve yourself. And the way for you to reach the goals that you have for yourself, you have to have habits in place. And I talk about those habits in my other videos. Just check out the Be Financially Stable playlist. I promise you, I break every single habit down that you need to have. But that way it makes it to where, how can I not have money in my bank account? How could I not have $20,000 in my savings account? How could I not have have $100,000 in investments because the habits that I've been doing since I was 20, of course, of course I have money in my bank account. Like it's not saying it in an arrogant way when you say it, you get what I'm saying, but you do the things to make your success an inevitability. Like when you see football players, basketball players, people in the Olympics, swimmers, like they work out and train all the time same thing for ufc fighters boxers they work out and train all the time how could they not have a six pack how could they not be good at what they do so it's the same thing applied with finances you just have to implement these things that i'm telling you about and in order to do that you got to forget about what everybody else is doing but anyway and so i'm going to take this opportunity right now to let you know and let you in on something very special that i think you should really consider you need to set a budget. I done talked about this, I don't know how many times, and I most definitely talk about it in my signs that you're financially stable, even though you feel like you're not video. But here's the special portion of it. If you have Apple Pay, Google Pay, or some variation of the thing where you can separate your money, once you budget for certain things like entertainment, DoorDash, food, restaurants, whatever it is, whatever your vice or vices are, you put yourself a spending limit to whatever amount of money you have originally budgeted for. And that way you can budget yourself and still do the things that you love, but you're capping yourself off at a certain point. So for me, I could DoorDash like no other because I work out a lot. Life is very demanding. My work is very demanding and I love everything that I do. Right now I'm in my happy place. YouTube, work, working out, Muay Thai, girlfriend, talking to family, you know what I'm saying? Life is everywhere right now. And one part that particularly for me is hard to balance is cooking. And of course I'm meal prepping more now, but in the past, 
like just a few months ago in the past, I would spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on on DoorDash. And that's about useless because with that money, I could have done magical things with because I could have reinvested in my business. I could have invested in the stocks. I could have bought myself new equipment for my YouTube channel. I could have done a lot of things, but instead I spent it on Food, and it wasn't even all healthy. Can't make no gains like that. So what did I do about it? I didn't complain about it and whine about it. What I did was I was like, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, let, let's check this out. Let me go to my wallet, my digital wallet on my phone, because you know, iPhones have that. And then on my Apple cash card, I just put $200 on it. So whenever I order from DoorDash, and this was not my idea, by the way, this was actually a coworker's idea, but once I open DoorDash and order something, I can order guilt-free on that card until that money's bowed out. Once it's out, ain't gonna be no more DoorDash. So I'm still able to get what I want, but I have more discipline behind it. And sometimes it's hard to find discipline within yourself. So sometimes you have to create systems so that way you will always be disciplined. It's better to discipline yourself than let life discipline you because life has a harsh way of disciplining you. And I call this the shredding method because you're limiting your expenses. So whenever you want to lose weight, you know, whether it's burning fat or just exposing more muscle, getting more lean, everybody tells you to be in a caloric deficit and it might be a 200 or 500 calorie deficit. So in this case, we're going to do a money deficit. You can still buy the things you want, but just not as much of them. And that's going to get you into better shape money wise, because now you're just you're shredding, you're getting shredded up, you're getting all cut up and whatnot, and you're building up a strong financial foundation. So I just started doing that. I can't believe I never thought of that before, but shout out to my coworker. You know what I'm saying? He he's about smart for that, but you could do that for gas, restaurants, whatever the case is. But the last thing and the most important thing, so if you stuck around this long, shout out to you. I want you to comment the word useful if you made it this far, because this is definitely a useful piece of information right here. Check this out. You need to have a five year plan. And you'd be surprised at how quick five years goes by but I've lived in Nevada now for over five years and it seems like I just moved here yesterday and your five-year plan could literally be just a sheet of paper and I literally did this on a sheet of paper I wrote exactly where I wanted to be first I did like a current state of where I was like this is Reggie in 2017 and this is how I want Reggie to look in 2022. You get what I'm saying and I put my my flaws my weaknesses but also my strengths for the current state and then for the future state of me, five years in the future me, I put a bunch of different strengths up there and I had a bunch of different goals for myself. So this was definitely in every aspect of life. This was talking financially, spiritually, mentally, physically, relationships, all of that stuff, but I had a plan. And when it came to my career, I was like, I want to get promoted at this time and I want to be making this amount of money at this age. You get what I'm saying? And I didn't even know about investing or personal finances back then. But what I did know was the power of planning and seeing if I was on track to that plan. Because I knew there would be a giant red flag standing in front of me if two whole years went by and I was in the same exact spot making the same exact money. Money has to go up every single year. I don't care what anybody says. And the reason you want to earn more is not to be greedy or to say I'm making all this money, but it's so you have more options, more resources, and more opportunities. And this is what I'm talking about. When I say things like make a five-year plan or budget your money or track your expenses, invest your money. These are things that sound very generic and very basic and they frankly sound boring. But if you do these things, I promise you your life won't be boring because you'll have money and you'll have options. Then you'll have the skills, so to speak, to do the parting that we talked about in the first place. Then you have the skills to lollygag or to take a day off or to chill or to relax. But the, the thing is when you're young and healthy, look, you have like, I'm sorry to say, you have not a lot of leeway in life. Like life is not going to slow down for you. Nobody's gonna just jump out the bushes and, and come to your rescue. Things are gonna be tough sometimes and that's okay. You have to be tougher. And if you just stayed in for one day, it doesn't even take that long, but if you just, if, if, if you just lock yourself in your house, in your apartment, wherever you live at for one day, and you truly draw out a five-year plan, and you have some details in it. It don't, it don't gotta be perfect, because you can't 
predict the future, but you can write and affirm what you want the future to look like. And you can look at it every now and then. And as you look at it, you can say, okay, am I reaching this goal? Am I on target or not? And what do I need to change if not? And you can make massive changes in your life. I never knew I would end up in Nevada because I'm from North Carolina. I never pictured myself moving to a different state. But when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, how could I not do such a thing? How could I not? I have to. And I had this strong feeling inside of me that I have to go. There's no if, ands, or buts. And since I've been here, it's just been like, stress has been about low. Life has been about good. Money's been going great. I've been able to create this YouTube channel. I've been able to write a book, create a website, a consultation service. I'm doing the things that I've always wanted to try out that I wasn't sure if they would be successful or not, but I was always like, well, what if? Like at my old job in North Carolina, I wouldn't have had the time because I worked seven days a week. By the time I got home after a 12 hour shift, I was dead tired. So that was my grinding phase and I got overtime for it and I wasn't trying to grind. It was mandatory overtime time but looking back on that time i'm thankful for it and i'm thankful for the fact that i actually did sit down and create a one-year plan and a five-year plan to really look at what i wanted life to look like because now when i review it i'm like i did good and i ended up accomplishing my five-year goal within two years so i'm not just saying these things because they i'm giving you busy work to do to make you feel like you're doing something i'm not trying to gas you up or nothing like that these tips straight up work they've worked for me and i know for a fact they will work for you. You just have to put the work in. But anyway, that is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and I help people reach their financial goals in today's economy. I will see you in the next video.